Hello and welcome back to Hexit with a Twist, our third season of our survival series. My name is Dougal from Dougalcraft and yes, the Hall of Fame is back. And yes, the texture pack is back. Yeah, a lot of things happening. Uh, but before we head into the Hall of Fame, something really stupid happened to me. Um, something that happened to a lot of big YouTubers before and yes, it happened to me too. My recording software was set up incorrectly and I was happily recording for the last two to three hours. Um, continuing mining and talking and da 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 da. Afterwards in editing I figured out that the audio only recorded the in-game audio and didn't mix in my voice. Yes. Sad, sad, sad faces. Yeah, but hey. Um, not much, yeah, a lot happened actually, um, but I'm gonna explain it once we get into the series. Uh, first, let's welcome the new subscribers again, because I did it already. I'll do it again. Um, whoa, why is it so laggy? Okay, new subscribers, Crazy Rasek, um, Steak Place MC, and Mexicano Place MC. Uh, one word didn't fit on the plate. So welcome to the SWAT team. Yes, I will still call it SWAT team even though the series is no longer called Survival with a Twist. As it's now Hexit with a Twist because we're using Hexit and a modified Hexit. It wouldn't be Dougal without modifying it. So yeah, Hexit with a Twist. It's still survival and it still has a twist to it. So yeah, um, that's what we're gonna call it. So let's jump cut right on in and I'll explain what was going on. I see you in a second. So here we are. Um, the things that happened in the last hour or two of recording is I exchanged my door for a gate so I could keep the pesky villagers out of here. Um, yes, the texture pack is back. Um, I haven't... Whoa, hello birdie. I didn't read any comments yet. Um, and I want you guys to suggest another texture pack. If you have any medieval texture packs. Even if it's a silly texture pack. We can try an episode on a silly texture pack. For now, I'm going to leave it on Osocraft. Um, because I really enjoyed it. It's a bit darker than the other texture packs. But if you have any good suggestions, let me know in the comments below. The other thing that happened, I put up the furnaces. And I, was, I went digging. That's what happened. I got ourselves a diamond chest plate uh, and a diamond and um, let's see my and I killed a magic zombie that gave me a diamond ch chest plate with protection too uh, there was a we're probably gonna meet those again there is modified uh, mobs in this tech uh, mod pack which are kind of Diablo 3 random enchanted mobs and they, they drop random really good stuff so I got that from him um, I got a lot of redstone and lapis and used it to I can quickly show how it works I don't think I can do it anymore um, we put in the pickaxe and you get three modifiers on it. Um, redstone and lapis is two that I used. Redstone makes the mining speed faster, so it's a mining speed of 5.5 .5 now. And lapis, you can put up to 450 lapis in there, will make it um, fortune, or in this case it's called luck. So it's now a fortune and um, efficiency pick. So it's still not as fast as a diamond pick, but it is faster than an iron pick. So that's basically what happened um, last episode, or last, yeah, I didn't even edit it, so that's what happened. We went down the cave, we died two more times, we got burned to a crisp, and we got blown up before we got our armor together. Uh, I also, in the left bottom corner, I also added another mod. Yeah, Dougal, you and your mods. I added another mod down there. Um, which is basically the same as you can see around the center, but it's in numbers. Um, I have it there so I can see the durability of my tools. So you see 1,491 and 60 left. So I'm probably off, well off in making ourselves another sword. Whoa, that was a bit of a... So do we have... We have an iron sword blade. That's good. 
And we have here a cactus knife blade, so that's probably not all that great. Iron sword blade. Um, we need one of those bindings. And then a handle, I think. Iron white guard. Copper pickaxe head. Bronze white guard. Obsidian white guard. I think I want to make myself one of those. I think that's what we needed. Let's see. Uh, tool. What we want? We want a broadsword. So we need. Ah, we don't need a binding. That's good. We put an iron one in here, an obsidian white guard, and a stick will give us a broadsword reinforced three. Durability 300, attack 3 hearts, modifier 3 remaining. Awesome. Then we're going to modify it, and you can see how the modifying works. We're going to put a redstone in it, and that doesn't work. Okay, it only works on redstone, only works on tools. Hmm, gunpowder? No, that only works on tools as well. Uh, glowstone? No. Okay, cobble. No. Okay, we can't modify it. But yeah, normally you put uh, the redstone in here, and then you take it out here and put it back in, take it out here, put it back in, and so on and so on, because you only can put in one at a time. But yeah, all right, we have a sword. Um, reinforced three, reinforced three. They're both reinforced three. It's just as a backup in case ours dies. Um, so let's get rid of some of the shenanigans here. Uh, dirt we don't need. Wood we don't need. We keep one block here. We don't need a fence. Now that chest is full, we need to make another chest. So, yeah, it's kind of... It's a bit annoying that it didn't get recorded, but as, like I said, it's not the end of the world because I'm not really wasn't the most exciting episode anyway so um, let's put this in put the bone in the redstone the glowstone uh, glowstone dust I got from these mushrooms and glowy plants in the caves I just destroyed one and one of them gave me a glowstone so um, let's put this one in here this one like this so the geisel geisel green whatever you pronounce it and yeah, I think we are good to go. We take this with us and have a backup sword and put this thing back in here. Sort them. Bleh. Ew, I didn't like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> Not a big fan of the auto sort thing, but yeah, I like this, it works. Okay, it's night time. Good morning. Uh, also, one thing um, that I have done is I brought the gold wall, gold wall back, uh, temporary gold wall, um, because yeah, we still need to find a place for a home. No place like home, um, because this is not Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> um, yeah, there is one thing though that I discovered, which I'm going to show you, is the I'm going to call it mini portal. Um, yeah, because we need golds. We need to have golds for the episodes, otherwise I will go on forever. As you noticed last episode, I used a lot of little mini jump cuts, just to because I was running around in the caves and digging and trying to find things, find the diamonds and um, all that shenanigans, but uh, without editing it down, the episode would have been 45 minutes and that's too long. I want to keep them under half an hour, preferably around 20 minutes. So, but... Oof, a lot of talking going on there. <laughs> um, so, the... Uh, you don't eat a bread like that. Um, so, the mini portal I was just talking about. You're probably going to wonder, like, Dougal, what do you mean, mini portal? Yes, um, one of the mods added to this uh, mod pack, not by me, it was already in here, is... Um, I think it's called Dimensional Doors. Uh, it's kind of like a... Wait a second, what way was it it's kind of like you uh, in inception <laughs> you could say uh, is a door bringing you to a little mini dimension in which you sometimes find treasure sometimes find traps 
so you could die in them really easy. Where is it? Ah, over here. Um, the, you find you can craft these doors as well. There you go. There we have them. So there we got our dimensional door. Um, before we head in, I'm going to back up the save game, of course, um, because it might crash. You, we don't know. Uh, yes, a dimensional door is it will bring you into a mini dimension. Um, but we'll see that in a minute. Uh, you can craft these dimensional doors, but they also, as you see, occur in the wild. And I think the portal texture for this texture pack is just awesome. All right, we gave it a bit of a jump cut so I can back up my save game. See you in a bit. So let's head on in. Uh, I'll explain what how this works. Whoop, whoop, oh. teleported. So we got a brown door here. Is there any mobs here? So these dimensions it port uh, teleports you they are um, there's different layers of them um, you can go deeper in them or you can go back out this one will bring me back out to where we were and sometimes there's treasure sometimes there's traps sometimes there's mobs this one it's a big room with a tower let's head on up let's see if we get a surprise visit on top Careful, 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 careful. So, da da da, doogle doogle. Um, yeah, texture packs. Um, give me your ideas of texture packs. Ah, uh, here we go. Why is this door open? Does it want me to go through that door? That door was open. So here we have two doors. The white door. Uh, I know it's an iron door, but in this case we can open them. Um, the white door will bring you deeper into the inception, the dimension, and this one will bring you out somewhere above ground. Um, could be completely different, far away, we don't know. Um, I think we want to go deeper. Let's see what happens if we go deeper. Okay. What was that? I hear pistons. I hear pistons firing. I cannot jump. And it's a hallway. And there's a pressure plate. Um, this way? Whoa. Okay. I'm assuming this is a trap. And I see lava. Uh, we're out of here. Okay. This one was a trap. Uh, oh, gladly, I'm, I'm glad it was an easy one. Are we risking this one? Are we risking it? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know where this is going to bring us. Uh, let me see. Do we have anything? Um, blocks? We have only five arrows, so this is kind of useless. Blocks might help us, and a pick might might help us, and our sword might help us. All right, let's do it. Oh, water, water, cave. Okay. All right, lava. Water cave. Oh, we're very close to home, actually. How boring. And a creeper back there, dancing. Look, we're very close to home, actually. And there's lots of water and lava. I don't like this. Oh, there you go. The, the plant just broke and it gives a glowstone. I, I'm, I don't like this. So, kind of safety blocked it off. What is this? Uh, let's just safety block off the lava here, just in case. What's this? What's all this? Huh? Tin ore berries. Cool. Still gonna destroy this. Uh, And 
block this off as well just in case there's any creepers or stuff we're gonna try something tin ore berries they grow in lava apparently that's pretty cool all right um let me just i'm yeah, i'm i try to be careful when it comes to portals um as you noticed by the end of season two i filled out the lava so that i don't accidentally run through the portal what is this what is this not of this world it's an achievement i got and it is a meteor chip wow now that's fancy there's some more meteor chip down there is there lava underneath the meteor chip? No, there isn't. It might be next to it though. No, cool, we got another meteor chip. Whatever you can do with a meteor chip. We don't need more redstone. Let's just quickly check it out. Meteor chip. Whoa, look at all this. Meteor crash detector. Detector, <laughs> laser, fire the laser, meteorite chest plate. Right click while in hand to add enchantment. Wow, that's pretty awesome. What is this? So you can, ooh cool, you can make actually like, like thingies with it. Actual, wow, weapons and, and tools. And a shovel and a, s a sword. Meteorite sword. Right click while in hand to add enchantment. We have two meteorite chips just there. So, yes, we are going to make a meteorite sword. That's pretty cool. That's very, very cool. So the dimensional door thingy did pay off. Let's head back on home. Okay. Let's head on home. Uh, one room was a trap. This tower is pretty cool. Um, I have the traveling house mod. Did it actually get activated? Let's see. House... Yes. I have the traveling house mod. I added it. I couldn't be without it. Um, once we established base... Nah, come on. Once we established base, we're going to collect buildings again. Um, why not? Maybe this time around we get a, a nicer looking kingdom together. And yes, this tower is definitely worth collecting, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Let's head on back out of here. This is pretty creepy. So, whew. okay, um, I'm going to mark this with a torch, meaning that we've been in there. Is it on both sides? No, on this side it's just a door. Okay, we've, b we've been in here. I'm going to mark this with a torch like this. We can make the dimensional doors. Let's see. Dimension. Yeah, we can make them. What do we have here? Spawn entity dimension doors monolith name. Uh, dimensional door, trans-dimensional trap door. Oy, we gotta watch out for these. Uh, dimensional door, place on the block under a rift to activate that rift or place anywhere else to create a pocket dimension. And same with here. And you can, yes, you can actually make these. There you go. Um, you can make them by using two doors and an ender pearl, which is pretty easy, or two doors and a stable fabric. And a stable fabric you use by using fab ancient fabric and an ender pearl. Okay, I think it's easier to make them with just an ender pearl. Then you can make a warp door. And these ones you do an uh, iron door and an ender pearl. You make a dimensional door. A uh, warp door um, plays anywhere in pocket dim dimension to approach surface. Ah. So we gotta make one of these to go into a pocket dimension and these ones to go back out. Yeah, um, not now, not yet, Pff, by far not anywhere now. Um, we we'll probably have a basement full of these in our house once we establish the base. Okay, that's pretty exciting. Let's make that sword and call it an episode. So, I do apologize for um, losing that material, um, without or losing the audio on the material, but as I said, it wasn't all too exciting. It was me digging around, uh, running away from mobs because I was scared and chickening out, um, and that's basically it. 
Uh, dev. What is this house? This looks a bit suspicious with the stairs and stuff like this. Nah. Just a standard villager house. Um, yeah, like I said, it was a bit chickening out, a bit running around and digging and talking nonsense. Maybe something interesting. I don't know. Uh, mainly it was texture pack. Maybe it was... Um, yeah, episode and so on. So let's make one of these swords. They're hopefully pretty awesome. Like we we made a sword just there, a broadsword reinforced, only has 300 durability. Let's see. So it was was one of these, and then two of these. And check this out. Isn't this cool looking? Wow, 900 durability. So if I right click it, right click it. Didn't it say? Magnet magnetization. One. What? I right clicked it and it gave me magnetization one. Whatever that is. Uh, I don't want just magnetization. Wait. If I hold and press U. No, wait, I need to go... Ah... Uh, so if I press U over the sword... R, there we go, R it is. Right click while in hand to add enchantment. Oh, sorry, I just touched the mic there. Hmm... I kinda did. And it gave me... Magnetization. One. If you have any more information on this, let me know, otherwise we'll probably figure it out. But yeah, I'll call this an episode. The music is clinging in the background, so we'll hopefully find some more meteorite chunks. Can I just... this, this looks cool. This looks really cool. Okay, um... What's with the map down here? What's all this? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out. This is weird. We'll figure it all out. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, if you enjoy the show, um, share it around. I know um, there's a lot of YouTubers covering this. Um, there's a lot of confusion to this because, hey, me and those YouTubers who are covering it are trying to stay away from too much information because we want to figure out the stuff on our own. That, that's the most fun of it. Um, yeah, as usual, have a nice day.